Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So, uh, several things have happened between the last episode and this one. Um, by the way, I just want to thank everybody for all the great comments. I've been, like I said, I've been reading them all. If I miss your comment, I apologize. Um, I have been going through them all, trying to make sure I get everybody's comment. You'll know because I always put a heart on everybody's comment. Uh, so if I miss your comment, I apologize. Uh, maybe just if it was important, write, write another comment, point me to it in case I missed it, whatever. Um, some really great um, ideas, uh, a couple questions. Um, the first thing I just want to mention, uh, somebody mentioned the, the background noise being low, like the background sound. So I boosted that a bit. So um, you should hear a lot more of the back uh, background ambience um, and also weapons fire and stuff. If it's too much, let me know. I can lower it down, bring it back up. If it's not enough, whatever, just let me know. If you guys ever have any questions or suggestions like that, like, you know, uh, too dark, too bright, whatever, let me know. I'll see what I can do about fixing it. I think the colors are working just fine. Um, I don't actually do any color correction to this. I just uh, record it. Sound-wise, I have my voice and the um, game sound effects separate, so I can bring those up and down. So just let me know. Um, also, um, let's go through a couple things because there was questions uh, and I haven't been taking the time to kind of go in the barracks or the engineering at all because I've just been kind of doing it in the background, but I'll take, I'll bring you back, like uh, everyone back up to speed. I'll try to do it every couple of episodes so you know where we're at, but uh, let's kind of take a look at the barracks real quick and the pilots. So our main lance is Hopper. Uh, starting with Hopper, uh, run, working right now at Gunnery 6, doesn't have very much XP to spend, uh, but my goal with him is to go up to Tactics Tree because he is the indirect fire master. Uh, I don't think I'll go to Sensor Lock, I am going to go to Warlord though, um, I think this is probably a better um, better way to go for him, but I am working at reducing indirect fire penalty, I wanted the called shot bonus um, because of the clustering with missiles and the good chances to hit with the Artemis system. So that was that's where we're going with this guy. I, I do like to try and get everybody up to sixes at least because this is usually the point where there's always good stuff. At least uh, fives across the board, you always get things like minus 5% heat generation and minus 5% stability damage taken at level 5. So those are, I mean, I, I try to keep it balanced and go up that route. I don't always try and specialize in one over the other because we never know down the road if the pilot's going to change to a different mech and have to adapt a different fighting style. So I just try to, you know, balance them out so we don't have to worry about things like falling over or head damage, all that stuff. Anyway, so that's Hopper. Arachne's second. Uh, once again, she's in direct fire. So I've been um, going up tactics mostly. Most likely we'll go gunnery next and then tactics again, like we're doing with Hopper. Um, and then uh, Hotshot. Um, so, you know, he's mostly gunnery. Uh, we're going to go piloting at, at some point, maybe the next time, but I wanted to go gunnery because he's in close doing a lot of fighting, so as much gunnery as we can get. And Tactus is always good for the called shot bonus, so that's why we're this way. Now, um, just so you know, what, the reason why I'm using Tactician, originally when I started doing uh, Rogue Tech, I would always go um, multi-target and then Tactician, uh, and then I would then I changed to, um, to go for... Um, I can't remember what it's called now, Fire and Maneuver. Uh, so multi-target and Fire and Maneuver. Uh, but I've gone back to using Tactics. The plus, the minus 50% critical hits taken is huge. And if you're facing a lot of enemies uh, and taking a lot of hits, that is like, it's really important. The plus one initiative and tactic rolls are nice and the plus two resolve gain is awesome. Uh, so we're never at a shortage of resolve. Uh, Queen B needs to be stabilized quite a bit. So this plus two resolve gain really helps. We've also got it on um, Hopper as well. Uh, and then uh, we go to Queen Bee, and she's going gunnery and piloting. Uh, I want this here to, uh, you know, so when people are uh, trying to sensor lock her, they can't get her. I, I gotta decide whether I'm going to go with Phantom Mech or not. I don't know if I will. I might, uh, or we might just go Warlord. I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, the Lamb Mech is doing really great in scouting. Um, I went up to six on the the uh, um, for the improved call shot as well, so hopefully she can target legs and stuff when she's when she's in close. But we're probably going to be going gunnery piloting all the way, and I'll have to decide which way we're going to go here. And then for our second lance scramble, um, she's working on getting fives across the board. She's almost there, uh, but she started off with guts 
So braces out to melee and death from above. So she's going to be our primary melee melee pilot once we get a melee mech uh, fully up and running. So that's what that's going. That's where that's she's going to head down anyway. And then I I went tactics as the second because the minus 50% critical hits when she's in close is going to really pay off I think more so than going up the piloting tree. Um, and then we've got uh, Earthquake, uh, who, who we've had in and out. And he's the typical gunnery and tactics pilot again, uh, obviously for the same reasons. Um, not sure how he's going to shape up, but most likely I'll go for piloting and guts next uh, to get the minus 5% heat and minus 5% stability damage taken. Get those into play, and then we'll figure out where we're going to go from there. And then we got, we've got Focus and Swifty here. Um, one of them is going to go up the missiles, like missile trees, so we'll be heading up tactics and most likely gunnery again. And then I'm not sure about the other one. Focus Command might be doing the exactly the same thing. We'll see, or I might train a second melee mech, in which case Focus might be the melee mech guy, or Swifty might be the melee mech guy, one of the two. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, so that's maybe Focus, because, you know, Focus firing on a specific enemy, I don't know, whatever. So that's the goal with the pilots. Uh, this is kind of where we're at right now. Um, and once again, I've got the um, the experience set to slow, so we're, we are going to be getting slow um, experience. I like to do it that way because if we lose a pilot, it's it's a huge deal, right? Because we're going to be like there's no um, um, like named mech warriors; it, they're all like like B stock mech warriors, and it's going to be hard to find an experienced pilot to, pilot to replace them. So we'll be starting at the bottom of the barrel again. Um, so I'm looking at, like, we got seven of eight bursts right now. I'm probably going to pick up another pilot over the next few episodes just so we can get somebody training in the background because we do have two lances running now. The chance of losing a pilot, it, it, it is there. So we want to get somebody to get some experience while they're just sitting there. So, yeah, that's the goal here. Uh, so let's move down to engineering. We'll go to Mech Bay in a second because so something interesting happened between episodes. So the um, engineering, somebody asked me if, if I've gotten everything uh, so far in engineering. And yeah, I mean, as far as the initial purchases that I wanted to go down, I've got what I want right now. Now, next thing I want to do is either go power system or habitat pod. I could go with third mech bay, but um, I'll, I might go with one of these two. It depends. Um, so they're all relatively expensive. This is 720000 This is 900000 And then I think this is like, yeah, $1.8 million. And then the drop size is, is 2.5 million. So those are really what we have left. So I'll probably go power systems, then I might go to a habitat pod so we can get another med bay and get a whole bunch more of these uh, for the morale. Morale is pretty steady right now at 18. Um, it's been boosted by an event that happened. I'll tell you that about that in a second. Uh, and then we'll go for the third mech bay. Right now, I think we're repairing relatively fast. Our pilots are coming back at a relatively, relatively fast pace. So I think we're okay here. Um, but that's going to happen again, and I want to be able to increase the mech bay speed uh, to full percent, which I think we need power systems for. I'm not 100% sure, but I want to go this first. Um, it's way cheaper. We don't really have the sea bills for it. Now, you notice our funds have dropped, and that's because, let's go to the mech bay. Hey, we had an event uh, where one of our pilots got the option to pick up some rare animal, and, they were and it cost a million sea bills. And the idea was to trade that animal for a mech. So I'm like, okay, I've never seen this before. I don't know if we're going to get shafted. It's a million sea bills. What could we possibly get? Anyways, I, I decided to go for it because I thought, well, we got the million. I just want to see what's going to come out of it. Anyways, we picked up a fire starter, a full fire starter mech. And I haven't touched this mech at all. It's it's just the, the standard loadout. And this is what we picked up. So we're going to have a quick look at it here. So it's got a Beagle probe on it, pair of medium lasers, four flamers, jump jets, AMS. So, I mean, for a million, yeah, you know, we can't sell it for that much. But, you know, right now, it's going to work for what we need, what, what we're using it for. So I didn't touch it at all. I left it as it is. You notice the armor is a little low here. So, but we're going to leave it as is um, because right now I've got the mortis, um, being uh, fixed up now I can't remember I, I think I've just got it repairing right now um, I think I threw a core in it I can't remember what I did now I think I threw a core in it um, and a couple heat sinks and that was all I did 
so there's no weapons or anything on it yet, but I, I have a rough idea what I want to do with it. Um, and Fist of Dorn had mentioned that maybe we pick up one of those um, energy cells um, that generally come off vehicles. It doubles the engine weight, uh, but it's like minus what I don't know, minus 50% heat generation or something ridiculous like that. They're actually pretty good. Uh, there was a reason why I, I remember trying to use one before and there was a reason why I, I didn't use it. I can't remember what it was, but if we see a fuel cell, we're going to pick one up. Uh, we'll get the mortise repaired, probably be between this episode and the next one. And then we'll have a look at that and see if we can do something with that where we can get the TSMs in there, uh, a bunch of like the, a, a ton of um, lasers um, to bring the heat up, maybe give it a bit of speed. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, my thought was to put whatever minor melee quirks we have on it as well, just to drop it in, um, just so that it can melee a little bit. Now, it's not very fast, so I don't know how it's going to work, uh, fit in with the main lance. So my thought was to bring the Mian Shen down, but we've got the fire starter now. You know, we've got the urban mech for missile in the second lance. The Centurion is up and running. Um, let's have a look at that real quick. Because I think it's really the only mech that had any significant changes to it. LBX-10, two tons of cluster ammo, pair of mag shots, and an SRM-4 with a half ton of ammo. And 240 cores, so it's it's relatively fast. It's not slow, it's relatively fast. We had to put a standard fusion engine in because it is primitive. Um, and then Pharaoh and Endo Steel. AMS Flare to protect itself a little bit, and a 20 bolt-on rocket with a tag. Uh, so I'm hoping this works out really well in the second lance. Fire control system recoil to mitigate a bit of recoil on the LBX. Uh, but that's going to switch to the command mech for the second lance for now um, until we can get this um, mortise up and running. And then we'll decide if that's going to go as the main mech in the second lance. Um, and then we'll pull out either the urban mech or, well, I mean, we'll probably leave the urban mech and the fire starter both in the rotation depending on what we, we're planning on doing. Uh, We'll just use either of them. And then the last thing I want to show you is, did I change anything on the mention? I don't think I did. I think this stayed the same. Yeah, it's still the same. So this, the um, I, I mentioned in the last episode or the episode before that it wasn't really 100% on the loadout of the um, um, the Burkut uh, Lamb mech. So what I did was, it's not doing a lot of damage anyway, so I basically switched this to a flamer build. Now, we don't need ammo for these flamers. They're just regular flamers. Tag barrage, regular tag. Uh, I moved them into the center torso because they've got a pretty good chance to hit already. I wanted to increase the chances with the regular flamers. Uh, the pirate flamers got minus one accuracy, um, and it, but it's got a bonus against overheating targets and uh, plus five percent accuracy against their... against. Uh, um, uh, battle armor uh, guys. So I think these are the same, aren't they? Yeah, plus five against battle armor. So we can wipe out battle armor pretty quick with this thing. Um, so yeah, and then of course the warfare suite's still in there. But you know, and everything else stayed the same. The exchanger, everything. I want to keep this thing. It's it's really heat um, efficient right now. Uh, Forty nine heat. Alpha strike is 30, uh, 36, But we're going to be jumping around a lot, so we got to stay as cool as possible. So that's the goal with this guy. So hopefully overheating. Um, getting in, detecting the enemy. I want to use, I want to switch back and forth between the ECM and the ECCM, which we have to do, we have to switch for this Warfare Suite. we got to switch back and forth between the two. Uh, there's a bigger version of the Warfare Suite that I think is five tons that will allow you to do, has both at once. Um, but depending on where we jump and land, we can switch between ECM and ECCM. And this one's kind of cool, within 190 meters of the enemy, it's purple circle. Um, we can reduce their ECM shield by three, which will really help out our teammates. So I got to be more conscious and more aware of that. So that's kind of the goal for this one. The, f the flamers work well against vehicles, buildings, you know, and then other targets that we can overheat to keep them out of the battle. That's what we're going to do with this guy. So um, hopefully the good changes. Um, I think everything else is pretty much the same. I know the Irby stayed the same. The Irinia stayed the same. Fire starter hasn't changed. The Dervis, I believe, stayed the same. Uh, there was a, a comment about potentially loading this guy out mostly with LRMs, and I agree. But the problem is, is weight. You know, uh, the MML fives are only like 1.5 tons, so I can't replace these with the LRM tens, which are five tons, because they're just I don't. There's no way to do it. I'd have to strip a lot of the ammo, and it's just not worth it. So the MML fives I think work great. If we can get MML sevens, even better. So we're going to keep our eyes open for those MML tens you know, fantastic, whatever we can get. I like the being able to switch between the SRM and the LRM ammo. 
at close range if we can find a way to reduce the um, uh, the minimum range on our LRMs like it's 180 I think we got a bit of reduced range by the pilot uh, not much but um, if we can get that reduced down to zero then I'll have no problem pulling the uh, MML fives out and upping the LRMs but right now I think we want to leave it this way just so we have a bit of balance between the two okay so on to battle. Now, I, I don't know. I haven't really, really looked at the command center yet, but let's have a look at something here. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. We've got a lot of pirate missions we can take. So we've got tag team here. Um, battle in the lowlands. Let's go up to three. Key personnel is an assassinate mission in the desert. So that's probably not a good idea. So let's go with the main lance. We'll take tag team, I think. We're getting pretty close to having maxed out rep with... What are we at? No, we're only at 50 in friendly right now. So we've got to crank up our rep with these guys as best we can. So most likely, this is the B team, right? Uh, assist in their training, capturing a base. So I'll probably send in, um, what's her name? The leader of the second lance for this one. We're going to do tag team today, two skull. Going with the pirates. I want to get as many pirate missions in as we can right now before the end of the month. There's only like eight days to the end of the month or something. So if we can get these two in, that's great. This one's, I don't know, if we get lucky, we might draw a good, um, like a lower level um, defenders and might be able to pull it off. But this is most likely going to be 12, 13 max or something. So I got to be careful with that. So um, let's go with tag team. And we're going to negotiate this. Go full salvage. I know we could go full rep with these guys, but we do want salvage out of this. So let's pull out the second lance. So those people that were uh, enjoying the Irby lance, I, I did, you know, the funny thing is, is um, somebody mentioned that it was like, it's like watching paint dry, basically. And I totally agree. The first time I, I, I played it, it was tough and I really enjoyed it. And then the second time I played them, I was like, you know what? I was like partway through and in the back of my head I'm going man this is like watching paint dry it's just so hard right so it was fun while it lasted but now we've got a, a better second lance hopefully we can get some uh, get some stuff going with them all right so let's deploy and get the sucker done all right here we go looks like we got some helpers and our targets are over there what is that guy can't really tell. We'll find out soon enough. I got eh? What's up, buddy? Doesn't matter who gets the kills as long as these professionals make it make it back more or less intact. Uh huh. All right. <laughs> All I see is Capel and Battle Max. Lovely. That's fine. We'll take care of these guys. Looks like they got reinforcements already. Uh, what? I'm gonna, sorry. We got this to stay to put it, keep out of our fields of fire. What? Then you can lift off and collect your payment, Agamemnon. What? Uh. So. Uh, so they're attacking as well? Why do they have four symbols above them? Interesting. Okay. I guess they're enemies as well. I don't really care. I'll shoot everybody. All right. How are we getting down here? We could go this way. And around or we could just head off this direction which I think is probably the best bet let's head this way Roger Affirmative. I'm sorry to have to ask you this B but we need to find out if who they're gonna shoot on so if you can get down a little closer thank you so Wait, when do we have multiple symbols on us now? Radar. Okay. Sorry, I just updated to 171. 
Um, and I haven't had a chance to play yet. So those guys are blue. Good to go. Are we rushing to see you can kill the enemy first? Chiquita. That could possibly be it. Now the one thing I don't think they fixed, um, and it's probably just because we don't have range, but um, I noticed after your first movement, um, like first auto move, if you sprint with your first mech, it doesn't give you the opportunity to fire. It just ends your turn, which would be like in normal battle tech. So, hunchback, eh? What do we have on this guy? Nothing, eh? Except the barrage. Let's just go ahead. Two pirate ER mediums, SB Goss pirate, eh? A tagger. Let's just do this. Engaging target. Deny them that spot. Um, Roger that. Who do we want to target here? Maybe the Chicada. See if we can pull it down fast. Maybe not. Uh, dead fire and standard. That's it, eh? I'm trying to remember what we have now. Okay, let's just fire on this guy. So I've been playing around on it, like, while well, my uh, attic is like in full heat mode, um, with a different uh, playthrough, and I started off with a mech with a pirate LRM-30, and one of my other mechs had some thunder ammo, so I switched it over to the pirate uh, LRM-30 just to see what um, kind of um, damage we could get to the legs and stuff of mechs. And it's actually not that bad against light mechs. Um, I got it out to an LRM-40 uh, between two mechs. Ooh, this guy's running. That's probably a kill shot. Let's just see what else we got. 64 on the uh, Enforcer. 60, it doesn't matter. 70 on the Hunchback. Wait, they got two Hunchbacks there? Alright, well let's just hammer the Chiquita. Yeah. Don't stand with your back to an archer. One less hostile on the field. Nice. Um, so yeah, uh, it's tricky because I I managed to pick up oh fifty five. Someone's using a uh, a thunder. Thunder ten or something. I right, beat. Let's do some uh, fancy shit. Hmm, maybe not. Let's jump into here. And then, how are we doing for stability? We're good. Let's get the EWS ping. Actually, let's hold off. We'll use it next turn. I don't know if it carries... I know it's got a two-turn cooldown. I don't know if it carries over two turns. But we're going to wait. Hopefully she goes before most people next turn. We can ping them all up and then hammer them. We'll reserve past her and then she can ping first for us. So it looks like they got two lances up there. But yeah, as I was saying with the uh, thunder, it's okay against lighter mechs, but it's weird because um, when you take the leg off of a mech, it doesn't fall that turn, it stays there. So you have to hit it again to knock it over, which is kind of bizarre. Tatugan Lance. Uh, better go handle that second Lance before they do some real damage. Where are you talking? Right here, I guess? Damage minimal. Oh, I guess that's... yeah. Uh, 
Um, we don't need to push these guys. We don't need to push them. We're in a good position here. This hunchy or this one? That's a 5A. That's the FB. That's got the Goss. So let's try and hammer the Goss. Actually, you know what? We're going to reserve past uh, B. Come on. Escape. Escape. Well, we moved. Crap. Right. Can't. Oh, dummy. Well, better, better chance than this guy. We'll take it. Stinger. Yes, Commander. Let's just reserve. Waiting for my opening. Get, see if we can get a ping going. But yeah, Thunder, I mean I don't know. I guess it's okay if you're planning on like stopping somebody from running and ameleeing you. Um I don't know. Commander? Because I had it set up so that I could fire for like six turns continuously with a, with 30 uh, LRMs. And um, uh, ping. So this should reveal any stealth. Yeah. Okay. And then we can just go ahead and uh, actually let's go this way. Can we get behind? We can. I'd rather be in a position where we can attack them from behind. So let's get over here. Um, but yeah, even with the LRM-30 firing for six turns, it still wasn't enough to pull off legs off like um, urban mechs and stuff. It, we came close, but I, I can't justify six turns of, of mine firing hoping to claim one mech. Now, if you got them like this and you can't hit them with anything else, yeah, sure, drop a minefield there. It'll do a little damage. But, I don't know, it's almost, I don't know. Even against vehicles, like I tried using it against uh, convoys and dropping it on the road in front of them. And, you know, the half skull convoys, yeah, it does an okay amount of damage. allows you to finish them off relatively quickly when you get close enough. But it's not a decisive weapon, you know? So I don't know. It's it's more or less a B-class support weapon, the Thunder ammo right now. Now, granted, I only had the basic Thunder. I didn't have Improved or Incendiary or any of that stuff. Babbed Catha, what the hell is that? Almost makes me want to attack this guy. Um, How can I help? So yeah, I don't know. Now, you didn't... Oh, you did move. 97 tau wow two nine eight wait what is this assault assassin oh I'm reading it wrong uh, 80 percent in the hunchback 99 on this guy we need a little bit of OP on the vindicator come on that's not the Vindicator, is it? That's the Hunchback. Uh, it's not even the good one. Very Vindicator, here we go. Let's go see if we can claim this guy's leg. Here it comes. Here we go. Okay, good clustering. I think he's going down. Was it? Yep. I think we got his leg. See, it's, uh, you know, it's just better to invest in the Artemis and the, uh, the clustering, I think, than the thunder ammo. Okay, good damage on him. So yeah, you know, I don't know. I'm not sold on it yet. I think it's better than what it was. Um, the damage procking is different. And you have... The other thing, too, is you have to be very, very careful with it. Um, because if you've got allies... Um, with you and they're firing like HE rounds or other explosive rounds at the mech that you're shooting the minefield towards it will negate the minefield 
which I kind of agree with, um, but it kind of negate like it really limits the use of what kind of. Um, let's go after this guy's leg. Just see what we get here. Um, it really it really negates the the use you can do with it, right? So most likely you you're you're better off targeting a specific hex in front of the enemy and have them run into it than you are targeting the enemy and having your allies or other people who are shooting at them um, wreck the uh, um, the minefield for you. What, what was that? Oh, that's the okay. So we really need to kill these guys. This is the fire bee. Looks like a panther and then a wolfhound and the assassin. Okay. Um Got something you want done? I'd rather have you not caught in the water. This will probably add a bit of extra evasion, I hope. It'll add some instability, but I'm not worried about that. Yeah, four, four chevrons, pretty good. Um, I don't think the Inferno is really going to help against this guy. So let's go LK and fire. All right. All right, Arachne. Um, sure. Copy that. See what your chance on this guy is. Not that bad. How bad is his leg damaged? Eh. Um, let's just fire at this guy. Firing. I'm saving the, uh, the Vindicator for the uh, Archer. We can pull his leg off, I think. We should probably go, uh, go after this, uh, one of these two Hunchbacks with it, though. Ow. Wait, was that me or was that this guy that got hit? This guy. Good. Awaiting orders. I don't want to get hit. Um, jump into minefield. Like it's it is a good area denial weapon, but that's not trees. That is not optimal flamer range, though. Let's see what we can do with the flamers. I'm interested to see how much damage we can do. And we're this close, so I shouldn't, technically, shouldn't have to worry about the, uh, um, the Gauss rifle hitting me. Yeah, not bad. Uh, I don't think shifting the tag to the top will make all that much difference. I don't think it includes it on the first shot, but we'll see. All right, firing. Miss with it anyway. Ooh, that's toasty. That's toasty. Good chance to hit, even with that long jump, you know? Looks like we got the barrage on him. If not, it's epicentered, and he is going to have a hard time walking out of that. Because we're going to flame him next round, and then jump away. And I think it was a good move, moving to those flamers. I know we had them. We had some some uh, fire SRMs earlier on. Yeah, like he's like, he's like, please don't burn me. I've got your back. Let's just step over All here, right. buddy. Oh, you're moonwalking it. Nice. It's about time you got that moonwalk going. Um, 93 on you. Let's, let's OP him. I wonder why it won't let me target with the offensive push like that. So that's the vindicator. We could kill the vindicator. 
Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get rid of them. Should be able to cluster that leg off. Yeah, there we go. Battle neck down. See ya. I notice I'm not getting my damage um, indicators. Gonna have to read up on this change here too. That looks like... I don't know. The weird thing is, is I kind of like not knowing what the damage is. Because really, you know, you're not, other than like a visual look at the guy, you're not going to really have any, any idea what's going on with him. You'll see the physical damage, but that's all you'll really see, right? Yeah, see, it's, it is doing it here. Maybe just, just because he was outside of visual range, we couldn't see that. So, regardless, he's dead. I don't care. Whatever. No, don't shoot me. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Hope you don't mind, but I'm going to barbecue your friend and I'm going to jump behind you. We're seeing another dropship inbound to this location. Could be enemy re reinforcements. Agamemnon, do you count? Do we have to keep that guy alive? Well, I'm actually... Oh, it's coming in right here. <laughs> Beautiful. Right into the line of fire. Yeah, you need to... Um, get up here and help me barbecue this guy a little bit, if you can. Let's just shoot him. Um, we should only have one target, right? Yeah. Gonna switch back to uh, Inferno. Help me warm this guy up a little bit. Not worried about shooting Queen B. His gunner is actually pretty good right now. So, all right. So 25 heat. Now we should be able to turn this guy off. It's going to be interesting to see if we get paid for this or not. Fucking pirates. What the hell am I talking about? Okay, a miss. Is he fallen? Oh, it looks like he's still standing. He's at the very top here. Yeah, early on... Um, on some of those off-camera missions that I played where pilots are falling over after like getting kicked or attempting to do a melee strike and missing and then falling over. Ooh, that's not good. That's that wolf found. He's going to heat up pretty quick. I'm going to go after this guy and then we're going to jump out of here and go over there and help them over there and help that guy. All right, so let's go ahead and barbecue you. Okay, tags on. 14 heat, eh? We didn't do very well. Well, that's fine. Copy that. We better make sure we get paid. That's yeah. the problem. I think I need you to close a little bit if you don't mind. Stay in the open. Better chance to hit. Move down. Uh, we need to end some of these guys fast here. Now, this is a side shot. Not a very good chance to hit. We need to get a little closer, I think. Uh, point nine. Come on, get over here on this guy. Twenty percent. He's more damaged than the other guy, so let's just fire on him. Okay, a little bit more. Now he's really slow. Hopefully he'll try to move forward, and then uh, he'll move. And the, when those guys drop in, they'll be within the barrage range. Wouldn't that be beautiful? But I think he's too slow. He's probably got a one or two hex movement, and that's it. And he's done. Oh, good. There you go. Enjoy that. See what I mean? He moves, he shuts down, then he powers back up again. It's like... I, I don't... I don't know. How does he get to do that, though? I don't understand how that's his action. Because if you're shut down, your turn is to power up. That's it. You can't move afterwards. So he gets to move. Jesus, dude. Taking it. You gotta get out of that water, buddy. 
You get better sensor checks on someone that's in the water. We're going to send the Min Shen over there too. Or else this guy's going to die and then we probably won't get paid. Alright Hopper. Uh, How can I help? You know what to do. We want to get this guy here. Although if we get it 57 on this guy, we're almost out. We could go incendiary. I want to save the uh, Artemis for somebody a little bit more important. Let's just go incendiary on this guy. Keep him nice and toasted. He'll be out of the battle, I think. Plus 11, not much. But he'll be taking the barrage in a second too, so... But I don't know how that is. How can he move, shut down, and then restart? Because his turn is to move, but I guess his fire action is to restart? I don't know. Doesn't make sense to me. Okay, he's gone through a bit of a minefield. Seems like six damage. I think the most damage I did with the uh, Thunders in that other series, I think the most damage I did was 22, but I was averaging between 8 and 13. Yeah, buddy, you guys are just, you guys just dropped into a war zone. <laughs> Tension Pirate Lance, you screwed with the wrong people, you should probably start running now. I don't think so. Uh, command? We've got another hostile lance in the field. Please advise. Yeah, you think? How much do you want the bet? He doesn't even ask us, try to ask us for help. I don't make losing bets, Mayor. Commander, you're going to have to handle that lance too, whether he asks for our help or not. Yeah, you think? Okay, he failed his override, so he's shut down. And he's dead now. thing is really not helping all that much over there. <sighs> Makes me wish I had swarm ammo right about now though. That's the other thing too. I did have a mech with swarm ammo and I'm appreciating swarm ammo a lot more now. Just all those little one like ones and ones and wasn't really that that great, but when you've got a 0 0.9 chance percent chance to hit, a lot of those actually hit. It's surprising. Um, do we engage over here? Or do we kill these guys for? Well, no, we need to engage over here. We got a second lance with us on the other side, so let's get to a point where we can give these guys a wake up call here. Some jamming on them. Wow. Um. Three, eh? Barrage is up, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and deny them some space here. Let's make them think about uh, let's make them think about where they are. Copy that. Maybe they'll back off now. Got all three of them in the barrage zone, so. If we can flame one up and, and slow it down. So we should be able to get the Hornet going. You know, actually, technically the Archer could probably handle everybody on this side. That Archer is pretty devastating. Yes, Alright, B, uh, let's try and shut somebody down. What do we got? Is this the... Uh, where's the Assassin? Oh, that's a White. Oh, he's easily shut downable. Shut downable. He's relatively easy to shut down as well. 18% though. Chance to hit is garbage because of uh, the white probably and the ECMs. So let's do... No, it's not going to happen either over there. So um, our ping is back. Let's get into here. Lifting off. Let's go ahead and vigilance. Thank God for all the extra resolve we're getting from our skills. And then let's go ahead and ping this. That should drop three off of all of those guys. And hopefully that archer down there can get better shots on these guys. 
That'll probably help out a bit. And then the Men Shen can get in there and roll in there and do some damage too. You're gonna melee, are you? Good luck with that. Yeah, hope you fall over. Nope. Still got stability, huh? Still got stability. We don't have any visuals. Let's get into here. I know we're going down the hill, but we got to get some visuals on these guys if we can. This is the back of a locust. What else do we have here? A sprint. A mech. That's the hunchback who shut down, right? He shut down. Um, still really low chances to hit this guy, but we're going to go after his leg. Um, that's going to use up, what, 25, 35. Let's go this route, see what we get. Yeah, not a whole lot. Oh, we bailed! Oh my god, that's amazing. We've got a good chance to pick up a lot of hunchback parts now. Let's get your AMS up a bit here. we got to keep Arachne underneath the AMS umbrella. Alright, what do we got here? This locust is probably... Uh, Standard ammo. Let's get the handheld MRM-10 up. Um, that could be a kill in the Locust. Hunchback 26. 21 on the fire be a good distance. It's got a plasma cannon. 8.1 on the white. Large pulse laser. 16 on the Wolfhound. He's got a lot of lasers left, but we can overheat that guy. Uh, that's a pretty good shot there. The Sprint Scout Helicopter, that could be a kill. Let's go for the de dedicated kill. Never stood a chance. Nope, he didn't. We need to get Arachne in there to get some sensors on these guys. Still in barrage range. Now that's the white. We're going to try and flame him and jump out. If we can slow his ass down, we'll flame him and then we'll hit him with the um, the Inferno SRMs from the Men Shen. And depending on what our chances are, we might be able to rain some LRM Infernos on him as well. Man, I'm loving the way this, this mission is playing out. I, I, man, Rotec, man, you guys. Awesome. These missions are great. The fact that we just kind of spawn randomly and the maps are bigger, it's just nice and challenging. You got free movement. You can really choose what kind of weapons you want to use. It's ah, it's so good now. I'm loving it. Every, with every little little bonus that they add to this game, it's just so it's just so much better. You guys have got a fan for life, man. This thing is great. All right. If we can kill that white over there, I think that's the, probably the mech that's jamming everything. The fire bee, I don't think has ECM. Who's this? This is the fire bee? No, the wolfhound. Yeah, none of you guys like her. It's fine. She's a bit of a pest, I know. But good luck with that. B, you're fucking them all up. Yes, back shots. Ooh, penetrated. You know what? I might jump behind that guy and flame him. We might be able to get him to bail. Good shooting, buddy. You gotta get out of that water, though. Gotta get out of the water. So we got four left on this side. It's not bad, and four on the other side, so we're okay. We outnumber them ten to eight, so... Oh, ten to seven. Take that back. <laughs> nice shot. That was a centurion, I think. Although I do have to say, uh, in the other series I was playing, um, 
I started off with a Syrian Centurion with an LBX-10. First mission I went and played. It, uh, come on, move. Position confirmed. Uh, it went and got the LBX-10 arm blown off. So, I, I don't have any, uh, success with LBX-10s. Okay, I can't target this guy because of the barrage. It's an overlay, so I get it. I'm going to leave the rockets off. I don't think we need them, but we're going to fire everything else. Let's hope, hope, for, hope for some good shots on this guy. Alright. Alright, no flames, but that's fine. A few laser hits. Let's make him a little bit angry. You're going to jump behind this guy, I think. No, don't go in the barrage. Don't go in the barrage. Did he go in the barrage? Looks like he might have. He did. It's right here. Stupid. By. Stupid. Uh, what's our chance to hit here? I don't know. Idea. Ten percent. I could switch to ECCM, but I'm worried that they're going to have a better chance to hit me too. Um, maybe we do that anyway. It's probably a good opportunity to. Is it on attack? Where do we... Is it shift click attack or control click? Do I not have the ability... Or is it over here? It's over here. Beautiful. So... Within blue circle. So there's my blue circle. Kind of there. Um, where's my barrage? Let's make sure we're outside. And let's get into the trees. We'll go. We're going to jump it. Give it a little bit extra evasion. And then let's see what our targeting is like here. Still the same. We're a little lower. Let's just go ahead. Okay, we missed with the tag. One hit with the flamer. Okay. It's not really him that we want to overheat anyway. It's the it's the uh Yes, commander. You know what I'm talking about. It's the other guy. Um Wolf found. I do know I do know what I'm doing, guys, honestly. I do. I just don't know the names to stuff. I'm tired and old. Got to cut me a break. All right. A couple of lerms on this guy. We're in the dead fire, so let's standard it up again. Little bit chance to hit. Let's switch this back to LRM standard. Better chance to hit because on the arm. We'll take a shot at the back of this locust. It's not going to do much to the guys over there, but if we can stop him from going in that direction, it's one less mech we have to worry about over there. This hunchback hasn't really been doing anything, so I'm not worried about it. And then this guy here, which I can't remember off the top of my head what he is again. Something or other. Hasn't been doing anything either, so. I might just use up uh, some of the Artemis on that guy. Shoot him in the back. Hopefully kill him. Ass Assin. Going after the Min Shen. Okay. Reporting. Minimal damage. As long as you're stable. I've got your back. Do ya? Let's get this guy's back too. All right, we're going to use one Artemis and one standard. And that way we'll have one full turn of Artemis left. And firing on this guy, we should be able to kill him. We got a good cluster. Yep, there we go. Got eyes on this guy down here now. What a waste. What is this guy? Enforcer. Okay. He's going... Oh, no, he's not. Okay. Good thing you didn't turn your back. I'll turn it to Swiss cheese next turn. Okay, we're going to push Arachne over there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There he is. See ya. He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. ECCM for the win, man. Giving them three off their, set their uh, ECM sensors, or ECM uh, ability. Lovely. Thank you for all the advice, everybody. I'm getting it now, I think, a little bit. 
We're definitely going to need that later on when we're two lances and we're facing like 20 guys for sure. Okay, the fire bee backing it, backing up. This guy looks like he's a little drunk, but whatever. Probably is. That's why he dropped down. He's like, let's go get these guys. Barrage is incoming. The only person that's going to hit is the Stinger. And he's on our team. Sorry, buddy. You moved in there. I love herbies. I love herbies. I can't hit squat. But that's okay. He doesn't really have to worry about heat anyway. Alright, girl. Um, can we get... We can get side shots on these guys. Let's move up a bit. What do we got on this guy? 5.4%, huh? Really? Is it because we're too close? Nope, it's not. Because we're ECCM'd. Let's just fire on this guy. Something's going on with their targeting. i got to figure out what's going on. It's nowhere near the archers, and I'm not sure why. Her LRMs are in her torsos. I think we've got the Artemis system in there as well. Could be a sensors thing, I don't know. Receiving you. Wanna go after this guy? 33%. Wolfhound's really the threat, I think. This assassin's just been running around and uh Yeah, it's not bad. Let's get into here. Copy that. The assassin's just been running around punching people, so if we can stay maneuverable, we should be able to stay out of his uh, damage ratio. That's actually really good. Now, we could go rockets on this. Let's see if we can shred this guy. I mean, it's not the best chance to hit, but we're going to take it anyway, and we're just going to go after him. Going to leave the infernos on. He's got a lot of energy, so hopefully that can heat him up a little bit here. Fire. I see you. I'm out of SRM. How can I help? Okay, what do we got on this guy? 57%, huh? How far can we shoot these incendiaries? Yeah. Roger. Not a lot of heat, but it's, he's certainly surrounded in heat, so whenever he moves, he's going to be uh, warmed up nicely. These two guys haven't been doing anything, so I can take a turn off from them. We're going to jump back over here and barbecue this guy, I think. If we can shut him down, it's game over for him. Although I think we're going to not be behind him, because I don't know how reliable this guy's shot is. Now, who was that? That was the assassin, I think, wasn't it? No? Couldn't have been the fire bee. Here comes the fire bee. Yeah, so this is the R circle here, ECCM circle. That's messing them up. Yeah, keep dropping stuff on him. I think that's the vehicle that was dropping thunder. Two medium lasers. I wonder if he's out of ammo. Come on, keep him unstable. Keep him separated. Dude, you know I've got dead fire, right? Commander. Like I'm sure he does. That's not optimal. 
that is that's a back shot so better chance to hit we're gonna jump to here we're gonna vigilance so hopefully we go b uh, before that archer next turn so he doesn't spill over and hit us and then we'll blast this guy I'm gonna put the barrage on him because screw him Rear armor it is. yeah you're not getting away from that barrage it's right on him too I think so I'm gonna barbecue him again jump out He'll be stuck there. Hopefully the Stinger doesn't run in there again. Men Shen will, blo will move out and blast him. That'll be the end of him. Commander. Let's get back to... It's not a full run. But we're going to get back to here. I want him in optimal range. And I don't think he's going to be able to move this turn. He's going to be stuck there. Infernos. Uh, yes. Medium lasers. Uh, yeah. And I'm shooting the wrong guy. Aye, aye. I'm getting it, guys. I'm getting it. You know what it is? It's because I'm ex I'm looking at the guy expecting to target him. Wolf found. There we go. And because I can't click on him when he's underneath the barrage because it's an overlay, I guess. Firing at enemies. But we'll shut him down here. 99 heat. Now that, see, it's weird because that doesn't shut him down. It shuts him down when he moves and then he restarts. It, uh, there's, it's broken. It's got to be broken. I, I can't see how that's, that's working as intended. Maybe they just don't want people to be... Um, okay, i got to think here. SRM, SRM, Artemis, firing. I guess they don't want people to be taking advantage of like constantly shutting down Max and taking their heads off. I kind of get that. So now it's up to him to be able to restart and stay started. Well, it's not going to happen. So it is the assassin hey, that's... Watch the paint, pal. It's got plasmas. That's him shutting down. Wolfie. He's all yours, buddy. Oh, he's still going. <laughs> he's taking it like a champ. Taking it like a champ. Oh, you're going to get yours. You're both going to get yours in a second. They're just jealous they're not getting flamed. That's what it is. Damage is light. I've got your back. Um, going to stand at this guy. What's Artemis? 75? No, let's just stand at this guy for now. He's not doing anything. Maybe he'll target Hopper. Although I think Hopper's out of range. Standard Enforcer is an AC-10, I think. AC-10 and a pair of mediums, if I'm not mistaken? Or AC-10, LRM-5 and medium or something like that? Can't remember. I know he's got an AC-10 in his arm. This guy's still around with a pair of medium lasers. Like... Oh, see ya. Game over. Copy that. We'll take the. Well, we didn't take any mine damage. Okay. Uh, same thing. Firing. Definitely getting a good flank on this guy. Ready to get it on. All right, buddy. Um, who do we want next? This is the fire bee, right? Looks like he's got a plasma rifle, right? 
I'm gonna walk it. I want my stability back. These guys are being jerks. I'm gonna drop some LK and just see if we can burn through his backside here. Yeah, not bad. That's the fire bee. I hate the fact that that guy's getting kills and stuff. Oh, we had double heat sinks. Stealth destroyed, plasma cannon destroyed. <laughs> He's taking a lot of damage. He's taking a lot of damage. That was, well, that was what? I have no idea what the hell that was, the enforcer. Yeah, it looks like it. Doing nothing. Hunchback. On fire. Moving into the flames here. They're panicking. This guy's been shooting me with, like, energy weapons. I don't know what it is, though. Here he comes. That's the Men Shen. Minimal damage on that hit. It's been hitting for not bad. 34 isn't bad for for a uh, 40 ton mech. Awaiting orders. Let's see if we can get a headshot in this guy. Taking the shot. Tags on him. Barbecue. Pilot incapacitated. Beautiful. There it is, folks. Oops, sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> I think Flamer's working a cone now. Could be wrong. Talk to me. This hunchback's trying to hide. Damn you for making me do this. Don't say that. Why are you backing up? The Hetzer's got more balls than you, man. What the hell? And the Hetzer's probably out of ammo. That's the other thing I've been noticing, too. Um, some of the vehicles and stuff, when they run out of ammo, they just rush up to the enemy and just kind of, like, drive around them. I'm not exactly sure why that is. Maybe to be a distraction or something, but they run out of ammo, and I've noticed this on LRM carriers, um, they'll run out of ammo and then they'll just drive up to the enemy once they're out and they just drive around them. <laughs> so I guess maybe it is to just to be a distraction. I guess probably that's probably the best thing to do. Yeah, we're running out of ammo here. Something's up with her targeting. I gotta figure out why it's so low. Okay, hot shot. You're a little warm, huh? Suppose that's my fault. So let's just turn these two off for this turn. That'll drop our heat significantly. And then let's switch these to Inferno and burn this guy up. Okay, only two. 23 heat, though. He's not running anywhere anytime soon. He's got an AMS. It's not going to help him against Flamers in a second. Yeah, I wonder if that guy doesn't have any ammo or his weapon's destroyed or something. I noticed that too, I think at some of the lower levels, um, depending on the, the the size of the force of the enemy, before they used to, um, like before Osmium, Project B, uh, and before they used to lower the armor value of the opponents, yet still give them full weaponry. Now I think what happens is they still have full armor, they just lower, reduce the weapons on the mech. So some of them don't have all of their weapons functioning, which I don't know. I'm I'm kind of up in the air about that. I, I almost wish it was 
lighter armored mechs. I don't know. It's a tough choice. I'm sure the designers have kind of went back and forth deciding which was the best way to do it. But whatever. Not complaining. All right, firing. The outflank, bringing the pain. Okay, we got three on. 33 heat. That's not bad. I've got your back. It's the Enforcer. It's a ghillie. Goss rifle and four medium lasers, and he's not firing any of them. Is he having problems seeing people? Is that what it is? I don't know. See if we can leg this guy. Engaging target. Good clustering, good damage. Looks like that penned. Foot destroyed. Okay, he's gonna be a lot slower now. See if we can get on the I don't think we can get on the other side of him with the uh dervish. Well we do have height advantage now on the um just a little bit of height advantage on the hunchback so i'm going to see if i can get up that hill a little more fire down on him see if that helps out head hit on him got something you want done um if i did i'd do it myself that way i know it was done right -ha -ha. all right let's hammer this guy i'm not going to move i'm just going to fire him don't be sorry yeah Get Time to rethink your life. Yes, Commander. Let's not get in the way. And let's go ahead and hammer this guy and hope we get the leg. Um, do I want to put the barrage on him? I think we leave it off for now. I don't want to destroy any components, so just in case. Hopefully we get the tag on. No, we missed the tag. It's fine. One flamer hit. Wow. You know, in every match that I've seen a Hornet in, it's like... It's like a waste of a mech. You could argue that maybe they're not using it to their potential, but... It's just really a waste of a mech. Okay, dead fire. We've only got 20 rounds. So let's go. Yeesh. Let's just burn through them. We're missing five. We're firing five less rounds than we should be. I'm gonna hit this guy with Inferno. I don't think he's warm enough for that. He's not, no, he's not even warm. Just get him with the Artemis. All right. Here it comes. Okay, penned. Nice. Hopefully that's the leg. Yeah, leg and torso. Okay. Talk to me. Oof, that's nice. take that leg. I'm going to leave the uh, lasers and this off for now. Probably a little too much if we hit with those. Okay, there's the leg. Right through his armor. Going down. No, is he? Oh, we didn't get him. <gasps> we didn't get the leg. Thought that was going to be enough. It's only 50 tons. Funny shooting, eh? Come on, knock his ass over. Put on your war face. Yes. Don't sound too excited about it, though. What's up, Hunchy? 
I got some stuff for you. I got some stuff for you. Firing on target. All right. A little bit of penetration there. Uh, I wonder what Jerky Boy the back's going to do. Maybe I'm a little too close. This guy might decide to rain some missiles down and hit me in the back. What are they doing? Commander. Um. Hmm. Hmm. This means something. Hold off there. Let's get, let's let Queenie do her thing Bandit. first. Last thing I want you to do is shoot her. All right, firing on this guy. Three hits looks like. Thirty heat, not bad. Let's jump out of there. Come back up here where we're a little safer. We'll go. Yeah, you know, I was saying in one of the comments. I think what they should do is have the. Um, the surface to air ammo um, have a bonus against land max as well. I know it has a bonus against VTOLs, but I think it should be a bonus against land max as well. Because that, that evasion is like being able to jump in like that fire and jump out and having massive evasion. It's kind of like it's, it's kind of like Starscream, right? Where he flies in, transforms, does a couple of attacks and then jumps back up and flies away. Ooh, see ya. Oh, you're still going. And I kind of agree with that. If you're going to do lamb, that's the way it should be done. Moving out. We get better sight on that guy? No. 29. Twenty-three. Man, it's taking forever. Let's fire on this guy. Firing. Okay, one of the lasers hit. That's nice. Some good internal damage. Order. Finally got a chance to shoot. Gonna ruin our uh, our LRMs, but it'll help our SRMs out. Copy that. Come on, guys, just die already. Just die already. You know, my problem is I think I'm just trying to max salvage on these guys. We're only getting a handful of handful of stuff so shouldn't worry about it too too much see if you can still see this guy from back here yep yeah marginally better but not much no SRMs remaining yeah you got lots of SRMs left they're just inferno Commander. this guy ain't gonna move just hammer him Here goes his ECM. Inflicted some heavy death. Going down. Should have a chance to pull that other leg off now. That's all it took was a little bit of aggression. Called shot head, huh? Are you that angry at him? Talk to me. I mean talk to you. You know what needs to be done. Um Make sure we get it. Aye, aye. Ah, lasers missed anyway. That should do it. No? LRMs are out. Really? Still got incendiaries. And we still got one more turn of uh Standing by. Artemis. I'm gonna jump first. Jump first and ask questions later. Let's get into here. Prepping for jump. 
Yeah, man, we've got that vigilance whenever we need it. I'm liking that. Really hoping we were going to hit the leg on those, but whatever. So did we lose any units? I don't think we did. We managed to save the Stinger on the other side, who I thought for sure was going to die. And then nobody on this side died, which is great. Can we saw, we kicked their ass. I said until this guy got up and got a headshot on somebody. <laughs> Improved distress, eh? Yeah, so definitely like later on, if we're able to switch out the uh, LRMs and the... Uh, can I get to the other side of this guy? If I can switch out the LRMs in the... Um, Archer to clan lerms. Let's just shred them. Should do it. Yeah. Arrow. Guy had an arrow system? Target neutralized. Um then I can add different types of ammo in, so we can add some swarm, we can add a bunch of stuff, I think. But what my goal is I wanna add a couple of I wanna keep the archer pretty much to the end of the season. Uh, but the idea is that I wanted to, um, I don't think we need to move. Should be good enough range for there. Uh, let's switch this out. And fire on them. Um, I want to put two LRMs in it. Two clan LRMs and then like maybe like PPCs or something in the arms. Maybe snub noses or something, I don't know. Ooh, that's nice. Left leg destroyed, finally. Take NSS destroyed. Beautiful. There it is, folks. He's had it. So let's go home. So yeah, I thought about putting snub nose in the armor of the archer, but I think really it should be regular PPCs for the long range firing. And I've pretty much confirmed that this is ejection, so whoever's targeted that person that ejected gets a little marker. All right, so 1,000 XP now. Um, three enforcer pieces. Hunchback 5A. That's the Arrow 4 boat. This one is what? Flying debris is equipped with a jury-rigged silver wear Gauss rifle, jury-rigged engine, and aftermarket electronic warfare system. We could take that take a full hunchback. That's about the only thing that's there. But we haven't been getting... This is a, a bolt-on plasma rifle? Well, that's kind of interesting. We haven't been getting um, very successful uh, taking mechs and then getting all, all the parts on them. So I'm weary of taking the hunchback Cooling jacket, minus one recoil, minus 15% weapon heat. Where does this go? Pressurized coolant. Explode for 45 heat, 33% of that is damage and, st and stability damage. Where does it go, though? Cold shoulder. So maybe in the arm? With ranged weapons. So the pirate engine, someone was asking me about the pirate engine. So the run multiplier and the jump distance are when it's activated. Um, otherwise, you really don't get any kind of movement uh, bonus with it. 10% failure on activation, additional 10% failure on consecutive turns. You get The best thing about it is the minus 15% engine weight factor change. Now, we do have one of these. Um, and when you activate it, it's 20 per turn. So it's really, if it's used to escape. If you need to get away fast... Uh, and you've got a good pilot, um, you activate it for one turn, take the 20 heat, and either jump or run away, uh, and then deactivate it the next turn so you don't have to worry about it uh, failing on you. Um, 
So it's a it's kind of a situational thing. The minus 15% engine weight factor change is nice, but I think it also uses up, yeah, it's four slots. So I think it uses up an extra couple slots in the center torso. So it's it's one of those things that's situational. Okay, light engine, that's nice. Artemis cluster plus two energy. A couple of XL gyros, which are really nice. Double heat sink kits, man. That's the one of the things that we're really lacking right now. Prototype double heat sinks. Ah, oh, the rattle pro. Ah, oh, really? Clan sensors. Like, is that? I guess that came off the white. Uh, what else? We got the warfare suites. Warfare suite QS, which is a smaller version, which I think is a clan version. I, I, if I'm not. Just maybe it's not. Just a lighter version of the warfare suite. I think we've got an extra warfare suite. Am I mistaken? No, we've got two extra. So <laughs> we don't need one of those. And then there's no ammo we want. So question, I mean, I could just take the radical prototype double heatsink kit, the prototype double heatsinks, and the double heatsink kits. I mean, we're going to encounter hunchbacks and stuff later on. But this is the kind of stuff that we haven't been seeing in missions so far. I mean, if we get XL gyros, great, but I think these are more important. This is going to open up some better builds for us. Now, we don't have a lot of heat sinks, so that's a problem. The light engine would be nice, but it's really costly to put in. Even with a light engine, it's still a million, around a million C bills for like a 55 to 70 ton mech. So um, it's an iffy, I don't know, maybe 600,000, somewhere around there, but it's still pricey. So we'll leave it for now. But these are immediate upgrades we can use right away. So let's go with those. And I think I'm happy. Let's do it. Okay, two enforcer pieces and a hunchback piece. Okay, Locust, Vindicator, Wolfhound piece. A couple of pirate ER medium lasers. Once again, variable damage. Uh, we don't have to worry about failure. They don't, add, oh, they do add five melee damage. So that is a bonus too. So maybe we'll add these to the, uh, the melee mech. We've got the Goss rifle. SB Goss pirate, 14 tons, 70. What's the benefit of this. Alternate fire modes. Recoil of one. What are the fire modes? Silver bullet goss fires a cluster of seven projectiles. Oh, I see. So it could fire a cluster or it could fire uh, just regular. So we're going to hang on to that. We got the light engine. Beautiful. Standard fire control systems we don't need. Got an XL gyro. Beautiful. This is a really great roll. Standard fusion cores. We can get rid of those. 78,000 out of that. Now, do we have one of these already? We don't. We do have another Gauss rifle, though. Let's hang on to it for now. Yeah, so we made out, like, quote-unquote, bandits on this one. Nice. All right, 30,000. Not too bad. All right, so I'm going to end this episode here. We're going to manage tasks a little better. Uh, the mortis we're going to bring up to the top again. We want to keep that going. I want to get that repaired as soon as possible and into battle as soon as possible. We'll, we'll put the rest of the mechs here. Uh, we're going to pull off another mission with the second Lance, and then that will probably be it for the month, I think. So most likely we'll take the other pirate mission, um, but we'll see. Uh, so I am going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, if you've got any suggestions for builds, please, by all means, drop them in the comment section down below. But I'm going to end this episode, so I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, we'll see everybody later.